subscribe to our channel now. Warning. A portion of this video contains lots of graphic language. After my brief introduction, I will play that eight minute video. I will for forewarn you when it's about to start. Then, if you choose, you can fast forward eight minutes beyond that video and then you can listen to and watch my conclusion. Recently, I received an email from a professing Christian woman, Deborah, uh, inviting me to an event in, in Huntington Beach called the Make Men Great Again. Make Men Great Again. An event, a dinner, uh, uh, all kinds of things happening at a restaurant, a German restaurant in Huntington Beach. And the following is her email, and I quote, We need our men to be men, faithful husbands and good fathers, or we will never make America great again. Society must renew its commitment to encourage our men to take their rightful place as spiritual heads of their households. Our headliner is Joe Biggs of InfoWars. You don't want to miss this. We're going to have a blast and spark renewal right here in California. We only have 300 seats available, and they are going fast since we have started promoting this event. The response is very positive because thinking men and women have reached the same conclusion. The demise of the family unit is just destroying our land, and the family is foundational. The family is the foundational building block of a healthy society, and it starts with the man. Close quote. I, I actually agree with this preface to this invitation. As I've said for years, there is a masculinity crisis within America, but sadly, more importantly, there's also a masculinity crisis within postmodern, westernized Christianity and churchianity. And my friends, we must be impartial advocates of the truth. The problem is not only men, the problem is also women, because the roles are reversing. Too many men are acting like women, and too many women are acting like men. Being interested in this, event, I, I, in this event, I investigated it, but after further research, I learned that this event is not an event that a Christian should go to, let alone uh, be unequally yoked to and participate with. I also learned that this professing Christian woman, uh, Deborah, is one of their speakers. Their keynote speaker is Joe Biggs of Info Wars. My friends, there's no coincidences with God. Here's a little side note. I actually got to meet Joe Biggs once outside the home, at a crime scene, out the, outside the home of two Muslim terrorists. Uh, at that time, I spoke with them briefly about something, and then I shared the gospel with Joe Biggs and his media team, news media team, uh, via gospel tracks. What if they actually read those tracks? I do not know. But dear brothers in Christ, as a sheepdog, as a watchman on the wall, here is my warning about this event. It is sinful for Christians to participate with worldly events such as this. And the video that you're about to see will better explain why. This is not a biblical masculinity. This is a secular worldview of masculinity. This is an event that promotes worldliness, the consumption of alcohol, and drunkenness. Ironically, the professing Christian woman, Deborah, that sent me that email was recently, according to criminal court, criminal court records, according to the criminal court records, was recently arrested for a DUI back in 2015. And allegedly, that's not, only her, that's not her only police contact where she's had contact with the police while being under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. My friends, because love warns, I replied to this lady. I replied to her email cautioning her to not participate with such an ungodly event, especially where they're going to be consuming alcoholic beverages, according to one of the invites that I read. As it says in Proverbs 27, 6, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. My one and only reply to her was this, quote, It saddens me that you are promoting this event, but after looking into it further, I see that you are on their itinerary. Most men would not have the masculinity nor moral fortitude to tell you this, but this is not what a Christian woman or man should be associating themselves with, end of quote. But sadly, she responded angrily, claiming that I was unwise 
for telling her that, and that God guided her to do this. And since she brought God into this event, since she brought God into this email exchange, and she clearly identified herself as a Christian, this is a Christian calling, then let us remind ourselves what the Bible says about egalitarianism. Now obviously, uh, egalitarianism, the scriptures that talk about this, the warrant of egalitarianism, is talking specifically about church settings and, and our congregations, uh, where Christ, the, the church buildings where our congregations go to and meet, but this can also extend to other venues outside the four walls of the building that we call the church. Whether if this is truly egalitarianism in this isolated incident, I don't know. Let God be the judge. But the Bible makes it very clear that women are to not exist exhibit authority over men, and they are to not lead nor teach over men. According to their own response, according to her own response, she's doing this as a Christian, uh, allegedly being led by the Lord. And therefore, this appears to seemingly be egalitarianism. Regardless if it is or not, men should not mentor, excuse me, men should mentor men, and women should uh, mentor women. I have so much to say, but instead I'm going to show you that video of one of their speakers, uh, and it's important to understand that this is their keynote speaker, Joe Biggs, that they are that this woman Deborah is promoting. I need to forewarn you again: this unedited video contains inappropriate language and lots of it. Take note that I did not go looking for this video. I did not go looking to dig dirt in him. I went to his Facebook page yesterday for the very first time, and the and is this video that you're going to see was that was front and center on his web page on his uh, Facebook page, section A, column one, right there for everybody to see. Again, you can choose to fast forward over the next eight minutes. And then after this video, I will close with my own remarks. I will, most importantly, I will also go over the scriptures of what God says about things like this. Bear in mind, this is their keynote speaker that men and young men, and perhaps I don't know uh, what the age, what the minimal age uh, is going to be, because I don't know what their ABC license is there. But if their ABC license allows, it's a restaurant also, so I'd imagine there will also be boys there as well. Uh, please watch this video. Otherwise, fast forward eight minutes, and then you can watch my closing remarks. Well, I woke up today and saw there was a <laughs> an article that Milo had said something about pedophilia. I haven't even read the fucking article. I haven't watched the videos. Quite frankly, I don't care. Um, I don't give a fuck. Milo doesn't represent me or anyone else, and I, I don't really care what he says or what he didn't say. And everybody's all butthurt over this shit. First of all, I post an article. Uh, I'll post whatever the fuck I want to on my page. I don't care. It's my page. Quite frankly, Facebook is stupid and it sucks. And uh, some of you people live on there too fucking much anyways. And need to grow up go out and do something. Go get in the fucking woods. Go pick up a gun. Go hunting. I don't care what Milo does. I don't give a shit. He, he's not any representation of who I am as a person. And the dude is fucking... He is who he is. I don't give a shit. He's not some fucking darling for us. And it's like, oh my god. You fucking... You said something about, you know, our most popular person in the conservative movement. Some of y'all are fucking so hell-bent on needing someone to be your representative that it's just, I, I don't fucking get it. I, I literally know that the guy fucking hates me. He hates info wars, whatever. That's fine. I don't give a shit. It, it took years of, you know, trying to talk that guy even into coming in on info wars because he fucking hates us. So, you know, at the end of the day, do I give a shit? Fuck no, I don't care. Milo doesn't fucking pay my bills. No one here that's on Facebook pays my fucking bills. I'll fucking post whatever I want. I don't give a shit. So at the end of the day, I just don't care. <laughs> you know, all I wanted to do was make sure that Trump got in and Hillary didn't. And now, you know what I'm going to do is sit back and enjoy myself and have a great time and fucking... Go out and about and hang out with my family. My daughter's almost here. 
and going to hang out with her, but I just don't care what Milo does. I don't care if he doesn't speak at CPAC. I don't give a shit. I don't care what he does. I, I don't fucking give a shit at all. And when I post something and people like flip out, oh my god, how could you say this? How could you do that? Fuck off. Who cares? Literally, what does it matter if I say something? Why does it matter what I post? How does that affect you? You know, the right's always like, oh my god, the left, they get so triggered easily. No, y'all get fucking triggered just as easily too. And you're so willing to jump off of a ship or something because, you know, uh, I agree with you on this part, I agree with you on this part. Oh my god, you just said that? Oh, fuck you, you're, you're anti what we are, you're anti that. I'm only cool to you when I agree with everything that you agree with. And once I don't agree with something that you don't agree with, you're just as triggered as the fucking people on the fucking left. So get over it. Stop. No one gives a shit. Live your fucking life. Milo's not paying your bills. Infowars isn't paying your bills. Donald Trump isn't paying your fucking bills. So no one gives a shit. Just live your life. Get off fucking Facebook all day. Go outside. Go do something. Go buy a grill. Cook out for your family. Don't live on here and fucking pray and you, you're so desperate for people to be just like you. At every single turn. It's not going to happen. We're going to differ so many times and we're going to fucking agree so many times. But just because someone posts something that you don't like, it's just, it's the dumbest thing in the world. It's like, well, he likes guns. I like guns. He likes to hunt. I like to hunt. He lives in Texas. Texas is awesome. And then you go, wait, he just posted something about Milo? <laughs> you know, it's just like, ah, who fucking cares? Does it, did it change your life? You know, it's like, who gives a fucking fuck? Facebook is stupid. It sucks. I want to delete it every day, but it's, it's just another way for me to put out videos and shit. Fuck Facebook. Fuck Mark Zuckerberg. I don't care. There's better things going on in my life than to sit here and have to fucking get on here and, like, talk to people because, ooh, I thought you were cool, dude. Like, I really thought, like, uh, you know, you, you were, you know, part of us because... You know, Milo's part of us, and now you posted this article, and it's just like, uh, you know, fuck you, man. You're not a real conservative. You're, you know, you're not, you're not like us. You're not like-minded. Really? Who gives a shit? Come on. Get off fucking Facebook. Facebook is stupid. And everybody wants to post these things. I was just talking to Outlaw. Outlaw just fucking called me, and he's like, dude, he's like, all these people are flipping out because you posted this article about fucking, uh, fucking Milo or whatever. I didn't read the article. I didn't read the fuck. I didn't watch the video. I never watch half the shit that I even fucking post. I just post shit to post shit because I like to see both sides get butt hurt. And quite frankly, watching everyone get butt hurt the way they do to me is fucking hilarious. I just sit back and read the comments and laugh. And half the time I don't even read. I just post shit to post shit. So, just fucking, who cares? The dude's fucking gay. So, who gives a shit? I mean, it's like, people are so hungry to have this fucking, this, you know, what do you call it? You know, this star in the conservative movement. We need to have this person that's going to be so big for us. Blah, 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 blah. Just be you. And it, the fucking thing I hate the most about this whole fake news thing is now it, it started off with a legitimacy because CNN is fake. We all know that. But now it's like once you don't agree with something, oh, that's fake news, dude. You, that goes against us. No, sometimes we fuck up. Sometimes motherfucking conservatives fuck up. Sometimes the left fucks up. We all fuck up. We all do dumb shit. Everybody, no one has a perfect fucking life. So get over it. <laughs> Fuck everyone's feelings. Stop worrying about it. Everyone, God. Oh, but fucking, that's some liberal shit, man. You guys are just like, oh, you know, you're not fucking, you're not just like me. You're not doing this or that. Do, 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 do. So, whatever, dude. Fuck everyone's feelings. I'm going to post shit that pisses you off. And sometimes you're going to like it, too. Sometimes you're going to laugh. At the end of the day, I don't give a flying fuck. Because guess what? I'm living my life for me, not for anybody else in this world. Or my daughter, her too, and my wife, but that's it. I don't give a shit. You know what I'm doing today? 
I'm not watching fucking Trump speeches. I'm not watching anybody in the news. I'm playing Call of Duty all day. I'm having fun. I'm doing what I like to do. I got my Trump flag right here, so there you go. I'm promoting him. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what's going to happen in fucking Paris tomorrow. I don't care what's going to happen at the fucking, at some summit. I don't care what who speaks at CPAC. I don't give a fuck because nobody at CPAC pays my bills. Milo didn't buy me that gun. Trump didn't buy me that gun. You know who did? My fucking friends and stuff that own gun companies hooked me up. Fuck Lynn Beck. Lynn Beck's a damn pansy. Cheetos face smearing motherfucker. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to go back to doing what I like to do and have fun. Fuck everyone's feelings. If you get butthurt about what I post, I don't give a shit. Hillary Clinton didn't win. Donald Trump's the president. And that's all I wanted. Outside of that, I'm going to go back to doing what I do. Have a good Now that you've seen and heard the character of this keynote speaker, do you see why Christians should not be promoting this event, nor attending it, nor laboring together with them? So let's see what God says about events like this. 1 Corinthians 5.11 but now I have written to you to not keep company with anyone named a brother who is sexually immoral or covetous or, Id or an idolater or a reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner. Do not even eat with such a person. 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 10. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, that's heterosexual sins, sex out of wedlock, sex before marriage. Notice that God named the heterosexual sins before the rest of them. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, methusko, nor revelers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Of God. The drunkards and revelers are mentioned in the same passage as the homosexuals and the rest of the sexually immoral. Galatians 5 19 through 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry. Uh, the other one was adultery, idolatry, sorcery, which is witchcraft and or drugs, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God specifically to ladies, and more specifically to Deborah that emailed me. It says in Titus chapter 2, verse 3, The older women likewise, that they be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Now perhaps maybe she's going to be a teacher of some good things. Maybe her speech and her, 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 her notes and her speaking engagement is going to be wonderful. I do not know. But a Christian woman should not be attending this, nor participating with this, nor promoting this. And again, Christian women should not be mentoring the Christian men. James chapter 4, verses 4 through 5. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy? 1 John 2, 15-17 do not love the world or the things in this world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, and boy, there's a lot of pride going on in this movement, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. 2 Corinthians 6.14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? 2 Peter 2, or 2 Peter 1, verses 2 through 4. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and, our G and Jesus Christ our Lord. 
according as according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue whereby are given us and exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. I would also encourage you to read it. If you want to see a biblical love in context, again, love in context, read and study. But don't just read and study it. Actually apply it and demonstrate it in your life. Read and study Ephesians 5, verses 1 through 21 for a biblical love in context. Uh, it, 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 is, it involves rebuking and exposing sin and not being partakers with them. It says in Romans, the book of Romans, let your love be without hypocrisy, abhor what is evil, and cling to what is good. Lastly, if you want men and America, men or America, to be great again, that can, be only, that can only be accomplished through a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And when that happens, that will include a continuing repentance towards Christ, a continuing growth and sanctification, a continuing growth in holiness. The Bible says that without holiness you will not see heaven. God said, Be holy, for I am holy. The, cor the compromised, corrupt, left to the center Republican Party is not the answer, my friends. Christ is the answer. I confess this to you. Patriotism used to be an idol in my life. And I pray that God will grant you repentance and put Christ before your country and put Christ before your patriotism. As always, the Bible says, ye must be born again of the water and the Holy Spirit. Christians, you must love biblically. Repent. Be salt of the earth and light of the world. Be sanctified. Fear God. Pray without ceasing. Keep his commandments. Toreho. Walk circumspectly. Believe in and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Obey the gospel, share the gospel, preach the gospel, contend for the faith. Hate the things that God hates and love the things that God loves. Keep the faith, work out your salvation with fear and trembling, and endure to the end. Thank you so much, folks. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to, and uh, you're, you're, you're willing to, you're free to make a comment if you want as well. However, if your comments uh, encourage people to sin, if they encourage people to consume alcohol, and or if they have profanity, they will not be allowed. Thank you so much. God bless you.